Hello, I'm Rebecca Toth, and you are watching Information Overdrive. Hi, I'm Bob Camellia from Blackmagic Design. So the HM TV Studio is a six input switcher. It has a combination of SDI and HDMI inputs. There's a total of eight, but you choose the six that you want to use. It has one upstream gear and two downstream gears. It has a multi-viewer that shows all the cameras and program and preview, and that comes out on either the HDMI or SDI output. And it also has an H.264 output uh, off the USB 2 port, and that will allow you to record to later stream the, uh, the, the program. It also has embedded audio uh, that you can take uh, an AES audio input and marry it to the output for the final uh, broadcast. All right, so what we have here is the software control for the ATEM TV studio. I can use a mouse where I can switch inputs live. I can also do program preview switching and I hit the either the cut, which I can cut keying and change sources. I can uh, tie it to um, the uh, return key on the computer. So if I hit that, I can trigger whatever sequence I've established. And I have full control over the switcher. I don't necessarily need the hard panel. So the ATEM1ME is sort of the bigger brother. And that one has uh, eight inputs, SDI and HDMI inputs. It has, um, uh, has four upstream keyers and two downstream keyers, so it does a lot more keying. And it has uh, media players, uh, two-channel media player. The ATEM uh, TV studio has still frames, two channels, but this one has the ability to put in sequences so you can have spinning logos and, and stinger controls. It has also has a DVE, channel DVE, so you can do your standard box over the, you know, the typical things you would do in a, in a small broadcast. So in certain instances, they have the physical equipment in one location, but they can actually use through Ethernet control, control it from another location. So as long as you're able to send the uh, output of the uh, multi-viewer back to another location, they can log in to the computer through Ethernet and control it via software or a hardware panel. And uh, we have several installations that do that, and it really does cut down on man manpower, but more than that, it just gives the opportunity to do more uh, with less money in, in, in multiple cities. That's a wrap. Don't minimize that window quite yet. Go onto Facebook and like Cruise Control and send us a comment. Until next time, bye-bye. So where do you download Information Overdrive? Go to Cruise Control's website and click Podcast.